from having a giant needle plunged into your spine to getting your skin ripped off over and over again. These are the 15 most painful medical procedures someone can possibly go through. The crazy thing is, some of them are not all that uncommon. Number 15. The first procedure on our list is a type of elective surgery. This means people choose to go through the pain of having it done. Liposuction involves removing fat from the body. This may be done for a couple of reasons. Some people want to change the way they look and feel, so they decide that certain areas of their bodies need to be reshaped. Many people who decide to get liposuction have the fat removed from under the arms or around the thighs. Regardless of where the procedure is occurring, the fat needs to get sucked from the body and this is going to hurt a lot. The procedure itself starts with a needle being inserted into the area where the liposuction will take place. The problem with this is that people who get lipo often want to remove fat from sensitive areas of the body. This means, before the actual procedure even begins, the patient will be in discomfort. The first step of the procedure is that a needle filled with saline solution to help fluids and fat solidify in the region is stuck into the body. After this happens, the doctor squeezes a tube under the skin and literally sucks out the fat. Depending on the location and amount of fat that needs to be removed, the whole process can take several hours. Most liposuction patients are given local anesthesia anesthesia, meaning they will remain awake for the entire procedure. But if the tube is not in the right position or the doctor is sloppy, the pain can be excruciating as tissues connected to the fat are also sucked out. Even if all goes well, after the procedure is complete, the area of your body that was operated on will bruise and be tender from the violence of having your insides hoovered out, so the pain will continue for several more days. If blood or needles makes you squeamish, this next procedure will probably freak you out. Number 14. Arterial blood gas tests require a medical professional to extract blood from an artery using a syringe. The main difference between this procedure and what happens when you donate blood is the location where the fluid needs to come from. Normally, blood is taken from your veins, but since this test is often used to measure the amount of oxygen in your blood, the needle needs to be stuck into an artery. The most common location for blood to be taken during arterial blood gas tests is from the wrist, but sometimes it needs to be extracted from an artery near the groin or the inside of the arm. Since arteries tend to be slightly further under the skin, the needle needs to puncture deeper into the body than typical blood draw. The deeper the needle goes, the more painful the experience. The other part of an arterial blood gas test that makes it so uncomfortable is that the amount of blood needed to make an accurate assessment means the procedure can take a while. So if you think a normal blood draw is painful, imagine having to sit through several minutes of a large bore needle buried two inches into your groin. Like needles, how about needles and drills in your mouth? Number 13. Having dental work done is rarely pleasant, but there is one oral procedure that hurts more than all the rest. Dental implants that are given to patients who need a part or entire tooth replaced. In order for the fake tooth to function properly and stay in position, the doctor needs to drill deep into the gums similar to a root canal. Then metal rods are screwed into the tissue and jawbone to keep the fake tooth in place. Unfortunately, this isn't the only painful part of the procedure. Oftentimes, a damaged tooth or root system needs to be removed first, which can be excruciating once once the Novocaine wears off. Next, the jawbone may need to be grafted to ensure the implant remains secured and resistant to other complications. During each dental implant operation, a needle will puncture the mouth to deliver an anesthetic, but before the drug kicks in, the patient will definitely feel a sharp prick. After that, the actual procedure can begin. These steps typically happen over the course of several visits, which means after each one, the mouth will ache. When the implant is secured and the anesthetic wears off, there's often a painful throbbing in the patient's gums and jaw. This is especially true when they need to eat. And although the patient can probably sustain themselves on a liquid or smoothie diet for a while, eventually they will need to go back to eating solid food. As the bone regrows around the implant and the nerves are repaired in the area, every bite after getting dental implants will be painful until the mouth is fully healed. The healing time can vary but tends to take a week or two to recover completely. Our next spot involves extreme cutting and tearing in the most sensitive part of the body. Number 12. You probably have never heard of a myomectomy, but it can be an incredibly painful procedure that women sometimes need to have done. This surgery takes place in the uterus when fibroids need to be removed. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths that can cause discomfort and bleeding in the uterus. The specific methods of the operation to remove these growths vary, but since access to the uterus is required, the doctor needs to get inside of the sex organ. Normally, this is done by cutting into the abdomen. Once inside the reproductive system, the doctor will need to cut up the fibroids and remove them from the body. It should come as no surprise that cutting up growths within the uterus can be painful. But even worse is that oftentimes there are multiple fibroids that need to be removed. This means that each one needs to be sliced up and extracted. The patient can be put under general anesthesia or given local anesthesia depending on the number of fibroids, how big they are, and where they're located. However, the real pain begins when the anesthetic wears off. 
It is at this point that the patient will feel each cut and tear made into her reproductive system. As the body heals, there will likely be bleeding and some cramping in the region, along with constant pain. From start to finish, a myomectomy is a very painful procedure. Next, imagine having an entire bone cut out of your body. Number 11. Having a hip replaced is normally a procedure reserved for someone who is in excruciating pain due to arthritis or degeneration of the hip bone. This means having a hip replaced should alleviate pain. But unfortunately, the surgery itself can oftentimes increase the pain exponentially until the hip is fully healed. Open hip surgery can take up to three hours to complete. The hip is not a small bone, which means the incision to gain access and replace it is larger than in most surgeries. After the skin and muscle is cut away from the hip, the bone itself needs to be removed. All of the damaged bone must be replaced placed by artificial materials. Depending on how much damage and degradation there is to the hip, a significant amount of bone might need to be removed. The pain associated with having parts of a bone cut off and then a prosthetic reattached can be extreme. The doctor may also need to smooth out the socket where the hip rests so it can rotate freely. This is done by the doctor taking what looks like an electric sander to the patient's bone and buffing it out. Again, this would not feel very good. Thankfully, the patient is asleep for the whole procedure. However, the recovery time for hip replacement surgery is long. It can take somewhere between 6 and 12 months for the patient to fully recover, and during this time their replacement hip will ache and feel strained. Although the prosthetic is not technically part of the body, nerves, tissue, and muscle will regrow around it. As this happens, the body is literally rebuilding the connections severed and the damage done during the surgery. After months of physical therapy, the pain will lessen, but for those first several months as the body heals and gets used to the prosthetic, hip, the patient will be in a lot of pain. Our next procedure is embarrassing, but also excruciating. Number 10. Hemorrhoids can definitely be painful, but the surgery to remove them can be even worse. This type of procedure is called a hemorrhoidectomy. It is done to remove infected tissue in the anal canal. This is much different from being probed or getting a colonoscopy. The doctor literally has to tear away tissue in the rectum to stop excessive bleeding. Hemorrhoids themselves are swollen veins similar to varicose veins, but located in the anus. This is where the whole procedure will take place, which means that it's not only painful but can be extremely uncomfortable. Unfortunately, in some situations, the Hemorrhoids need to be stapled to block the blood flow in the region. This means that the veins in a patient's rectum might not only be sliced apart, but staples might need to be inserted into anal tissue. And for anyone who's ever accidentally stapled their finger, imagine that feeling happening to your anus. Next, we're going to be ripping flesh off from one part of the body and reattaching it elsewhere. Number 9. A skin graft is a procedure where a piece of skin from one area of the body is cut off and transplanted onto another part of the body. This is sometimes done with burn victims or after a major surgery that has damaged a lot of skin tissue. However, the procedure itself is not the only painful part of the skin graft. Maintaining the cleanliness of where the new skin is attached can be easier said than done. Bandages need to be constantly replaced, and if not done properly, there can be some nasty side effects. Since the patient is under general anesthesia and asleep when the actual procedure is happening, the pain doesn't occur until after they wake up. It is then that there will be two major areas of the body that will hurt. The first will be where the skin was removed from, and the second is the location where it's been stitched back on. However, it's the recovery process that really begins to take its toll on the pain receptors of the body. There is a chance the graft won't take, and the body will attack or destroy the skin that was surgically implanted. In this case, there would be pain from the immune system trying to destroy the skin. Skin grafts can also become infected, meaning that the transplant might inflame, and the area could feel as if it were slowly burning. One of the most painful parts of a skin graft is when the bandages covering the operation site need to be cleaned or replaced. As the bandage is removed, there might be dried blood or pus that's connected it to the skin graft. If the bandage needs to be ripped off, some of the skin could go with it, causing pain to shoot through the area. Then, the cleaning agent to prevent the infection will get under the skin and activate the pain receptors, which just adds insult to injury. The worst part of the skin graft is that if the body rejects it or it does not heal properly, the patient may need to go through the procedure all over again. The next procedure is something most of you will have to endure sooner or later. Number 8. A lumbar puncture, also known as a spinal tap, can be a painful procedure. It consists of a doctor sticking a very large needle between the third and fourth lumbar vertebrae in the back. The thought of a sharp needle being stuck through your skin and into your spinal cord is definitely a nerve-wracking one. The doctor then uses the syringe to suck cerebral spinal fluid from the subarachnoid space in the spine. The needle is not supposed to come into contact with any nerves or the spinal 
spinal column itself. But accidents happen, and if the needle manages to tear through any bone or tissue, the pain will be excruciating. Regardless, even if the procedure goes 100% according to plan, the doctor will need to take somewhere between 5 and 20 milliliters of cerebrospinal fluid from the body. This means that the needle will be in the patient's back for a decent amount of time. And remember, this isn't just a pinprick. The needle has to be long enough to penetrate the skin, muscle, and slip its way into the spinal column. Most of the time, with a skilled physician, the patient will only feel a slight pressure in the lower back during a spinal tap. However, many patients also report feeling a searing pain, like a gigantic bee sting shooting up their spine. When this intense pain occurs, the first reaction of the body is to move and get away from whatever is hurting it. But this can cause even more pain during the procedure. If the patient moves unexpectedly, it could cause the needle to go into the nerves or scrape against the bones in the spinal column. In this scenario, there would be no escaping the pain. It would be intense and unrelenting. Nothing quite beats the pain of having organs ripped out of your body, though. Number 7. Gallbladder removal, or cholecystectomy, is when the organ responsible for collecting and storing bile is removed from the body. When the gallbladder is not working properly, it can cause a lot of problems and pain. Patients have reported feeling intense discomfort immediately upon waking up from the surgery. Considering they were just hacked into and had an organ carefully cut free of its blood vessels and other connected tissue, extreme pain isn't unsurprising. In open cholecystectomy, the surgeon creates several incisions, the largest of which is about 6 inches long. The procedure is done if someone needs to have gallstones removed removed from the gallbladder or to alleviate other problems that might be causing intense discomfort. In order for the gallbladder to be removed, it must first be separated from the liver and the small intestine. Although someone can live without a gallbladder, having it removed hurts a lot. The recovery time from the operation can last from just over a week to several weeks. After the body begins to heal, the pain subsides for many people. But just after the surgery, patients find that a lot of painkillers are needed to get through the first few days of recovery. Our next procedure involved stretching the most sensitive of body parts to extraordinary proportions. Number 6. Although not technically a surgery, the next procedure is probably the most common painful experience women go through in hospitals. There is no event in life that can cause as much joy and pain as childbirth. If the baby is born vaginally, the mother is in for a lot of suffering. However, in emergency situations, the baby may be extracted via a C-section. This is typically less painful, but the hours of labor beforehand will be filled with discomfort regardless of what type of birth the mother goes through. For women who give birth vaginally, it's like pushing a long watermelon out of their reproductive tract. Just to be clear, the birth canal is not the size of a watermelon, which means as the baby is pushed out of the body, it is forcing the opening to become larger and larger. Pushing anything out of your body that isn't urine or fecal matter is going to be painful. This is why any other type of pain can rarely come close to the pain felt during childbirth. But that's not the most painful thing a woman can experience with her reproductive organs. Number 5. An abdominal hysterectomy is a procedure used to literally scoop out part of the female's reproductive system. That's right, this surgery takes the entire uterus out of the patient's body. It's probably pretty obvious that having an entire organ removed would be painful, and if that organ is part of the reproductive system, it comes with an increased amount of pain. In order to remove the uterus, the doctor needs to cut open the abdomen and separate the organ from the rest of the reproductive system. Unfortunately, the uterus is connected to a lot of different structures, including ovaries, fallopian tubes, and the upper vagina. The blood vessels, ligaments, and connective tissue that support the organ also need to be severed in order to remove it. After all the cuts and punctures to the reproductive system, the uterus can finally be extracted and the patient can be stitched up. Even after the surgery, there will be bleeding from the vagina, and the pain of having the organ removed will be intense. The recovery time varies, but can take several weeks, all of which will be agonizing. The next spot on the list involves removing even larger amounts of organ from the body. Number 4. Similar to a hysterectomy, a proctocolectomy removes organs from the body. In this procedure, part of the large intestine, rectum, and anal canal are taken out of the patient. The surgery might be done to combat ulcerative colitis, bowel cancer, and some forms of Crohn's disease. In order to reach the organs that need to be removed, the doctor needs to cut open the patient's abdomen and separate the structures using surgical tools. Depending on the needs of the patient, the entire colon must be cut out. After the necessary parts are removed, the surgeon will reattach what remains. This means that after a proctocolectomy, colectomy, things can get very messy. Patients need to be monitored to ensure they can have healthy bowel movements. At first, their stool will most likely be filled with blood, and every poop will be painful. Therefore, patients who go through the procedure don't eat solid food until the excretory system has had time to heal. Even still, going to the bathroom after a proctocolectomy can be just as painful as the surgery itself until the body fully heals. Now we're up in the top three most painful medical procedures, and this next procedure will make just standing up excruciating. Number 3. 
open reduction internal fixation of the calcaneus is the fancy medical way to say surgery of the heel bone. Regardless of what you call it, this procedure may be one of the most painful experiences of someone's life. We don't necessarily associate the heel with being a very sensitive part of the body, but for anyone who's ever had a bad fall and shattered their heel, they know nothing could be further from the truth. The heel supports a lot of body weight, which means that it needs to be strong. However, it also means that if it's damaged, a lot of pressure is put on the injured part of the body. And since the bone is meant to be sturdy, repairing a damaged heel comes with a lot of pain. First, the doctor needs to cut through the skin, muscles, and tendons to access the heel bone. This means there's a chance that the nerves in the foot during surgery will be damaged. This will cause immense pain when the patient wakes up. Once the surgeon has a clear path to the bone and sees how bad the fracture is, decisions need to be made. In some cases, the only way to repair the heel is to put metal screws and plates in the foot. Imagine someone twisting a screw through your bone to secure a metal plate between broken pieces of it. This would be agonizing. But the worst part isn't over yet. Once the screws and plate have been put in place, the ligaments need to be reattached and the whole foot needs to be sewn up. Upon waking from an open surgery on the heel, patients have reported experiencing the worst pain of their life. And this is all before they start putting weight on it again. After the surgery, the patient will need to go through months of physical therapy where they will be applying pressure to the reconstructed heel. Hopefully, there will be no infections after the surgery as this would cause the patient even more pain. Also, there is a slight chance that the screws and metal plates don't set right, meaning the doctor would need to cut open the foot and reset everything. This would result in the patient having to go through the open reduction internal fixation of the calcaneus surgery for a second time. We mentioned the spinal tap earlier in the list, but there is a procedure that's even more painful than having a needle shoved between your vertebrae. Number 2. There's few things less painful than having your spine fused together. People who have had degenerative diseases that affect the spine often need to have surgery to address the issue. A spinal fusion procedure is used to connect two or more vertebrae together to keep them in place. This procedure could require a bone graft, which in and of itself is notorious for being painful. The physician will take a piece of bone, normally from the hip, leg, or rib, and attach it to one of the vertebrae. The doctor might also realign and connect the spine using metal rods and screws. If this is the case, the pain can be excruciating due to the number of nerves running through this area of the body. The connection of the vertebrae needs to be precise, leaving very little room for error. This means the procedure is slow and meticulous, which is also how recovery will go. Unfortunately, the entire recovery process will not only be long, but agonizing as well. At our number one spot, we have a procedure that's not only excruciating, but will probably lead to even more painful procedures in the future. Number one. The most painful medical procedure might be a bone marrow biopsy. The basic premise of this procedure is to extract marrow, which is the tissue inside of bones. What makes this procedure so painful is that the only way to extract the bone marrow is to pierce through the skin, muscle, and all the way through a bone. Bone marrow biopsies may be done to make sure the body is producing the right amount of blood or to diagnose certain types of cancer such as lymphoma and leukemia. Normally, the doctor will give a patient a local anesthetic, which means they'll be awake for the procedure. But even with the pain dulling drug, the bone biopsy can be torture. The doctor will insert a hollow needle into the patient's body and into their bone. This will send massive amounts of pain signals to the brain. It's the combination of a needle penetrating deep into the body and the destruction of part of a bone that makes the biopsy so painful. Normally, the needle is stuck into the hip bone, so following the procedure, there can also be lingering soreness in the region. Now watch the worst pain ever. These injuries will make you cry like a baby. Or check out most painful parasites that infect humans. 